The purpose of this video is to show you how to convert from degrees to radians and from radians to degrees, especially for angles that aren't shown previously on some of those circle diagrams that we just looked at. The multiples of 45 degrees and the multiples of 30 degrees are, are radian equivalents that you really should memorize. Here we're going to start by remembering something from geometry, where for any circle, crudely drawn, the length of the circumference, which is the distance all the way around the circle, is related to the length of the radius, where the circumference equals 2 times pi times the radius. And as we've seen already, if you go all the way around the circle, that's also equal to 360 degrees. So we're going to kind of start with this idea that 2 times pi times r equals 360 degrees. And keep in mind that a radius is the same length as a radian. So what we can think here is that 2 times pi times radians equals 360 degrees. If we divide both sides by 2, we get pi times radian, 1 radian, equals 180 degrees. And now we're going to divide both sides by pi so that we know that a radian is equal to 180 degrees divided by pi. So now that is one of our concepts that we're going to be using when we do some conversion. If we start with the same kind of formula, that 2 times pi times r equals 360 degrees, and we want to get this degree symbol kind of by itself, we can divide both sides by 360. And what I'm really trying to do here is keep a degree uh, measurement kind of by itself. I mean, I'm going to say one degree here. And here we have get pi times r divided by 180. Again, 2 divided by 360 would become 180 here. Our next step in converting this is going to be, you might not like this, but to cross out the r. Since the radius is equal to a radian, we're going to cross that out, leaving us with 1 degree equals pi divided by 180. So now we have two, two things that are fairly similar, pi divided by 180 and 180 degrees divided by pi. And these are going to be what we're going to use to convert degrees to radians and radians to degrees. And all you really need to remember is that it's going to be pi divided by 180 or 180 degrees divided by pi. Let's say someone has asked you to convert 75 degrees to radian measure and you're trying to remember which of these you're going to use. Well, you're going to use this one because you want your degree symbol to cancel out. You want the degree symbol to cancel out. So this is the version of the conversion that you're going to use. And now you've got 75 divided by 180 and the pi still remains. And what you do with this is you enter this into your calculator and hit math enter, enter. Most calculators will convert a, a fraction to a simplified fraction. Again, you can turn this into a decimal number and then turn it into a fraction, but basically you're simplifying this fraction and most calculators will do that for you. And you end up with 5 twelfths pi. And that would be your final answer. Let's say someone has given you 130 degrees and they've asked you to convert that to radian measure. And again, you might think about this, but you would have degrees in the numerator twice. You need to cancel out that 180 degree symbol. So you want to use your pi divided by 180 degrees, again, primarily so that this will cancel out. You've got 130 divided by 180, and to be honest, 13 eighteenths is as simplified as that fraction is going to get. I'm just dividing numerator and denominator by 10, and there we go. 
it's possible that someone will give you something like 600 degrees. Again, your degree symbol cancels out. 600 divided by 180. When you simplify that, you're going to get what we call an improper fraction, where the numerator is greater than the denominator. And you get 5 pi divided by 3. Again, this is the thing that gets simplified. Don't forget to leave pi in your answer. And again, here are our two choices that you have to memorize, one or the other. If somebody gives you radian measure and asks you to convert to degrees, you're going to do the following. Let's say somebody says, please convert pi divided by 9 to degree measurement. You're going to say, hmm, I want to cancel out the pi. I'm going to go with this version, 180 degrees divided by pi. And you're really multiplying here. Your pi's are going to cancel out, leaving you with 180 degrees divided by 9. You're going to have the degrees in your answer, and this would give you 20 degrees. How about 4 pi divided by 9? Again, we're trying to use some, some radian measures here that you haven't seen in the circles that we've already explored. And again, you want the pi symbol to cancel out, so you're going to go with the, this version. 180 divided by pi. You want the pi's to cancel out, so that's going to allow you to remember to use this version. 4 times 180 gives us 720. We still have a 9, and that would give us 80 degrees. Okay, next, somebody who give you 7 pi divided by 3. And again, still using this conversion, 180 divided by pi. Your pi's cancel out, which wouldn't happen if you were using this version. 7 times 180 gives you 1260, still degrees, divide by 3. And doing this division, you get 420 degrees as the final answer for this one. So very quickly in closing, if somebody's asking you to do some conversions, and let's say they've asked you to convert 3 pi divided by 4 to degree measurement, if you were to use this version, your degrees are not canceling out, and you'd have pi squared in the numerator, so you'd know that's not correct. This will give you degrees in your answer. 3 times 180 gives you 540 degrees, and when you divide that by 4, you get 135 degrees. If someone asked you to convert 50 degrees to radian measure, if you were to start by using this one, 180 degrees over pi, you'd realize something is wrong because your degrees are not going to cancel out, so you switch to the correct model because you want your degree symbols to cancel out, and you're going to leave pi in your answer. And 50 divided by 180 simplifies not a whole lot to 5 18 pi. So these are your answers, and it's fairly easy to remember which one to use once you actually start using it. This is conversion from degrees to radians and radians to degrees.